Good afternoon, and today we're going to be fitting an 88 series hood with side windows in sand. So, this is what the hood will turn up in. On the top, it'll have a uh, sticker to say what the type of hood is and the part code. I'm going to get the hood out of the box. to a bolt hood trying to find which direction we should fold it. And place the hood onto the vehicle like so. You may need to get into the back of the vehicle to help you unfold the hood. is unfold it to the hood along the length of the vehicle roughly onto the vehicle. Once you've got the hood like that, you want to start at the front of the vehicle. and hook the front of the hood down onto the front of the windscreen channel. making sure you get all the hooks through the webbing strap. Then go to the back of the vehicle. With the webbing straps, go down through. Put tension onto the front of the windscreen. And do the same again on the other side of the vehicle.
that's now put some tension onto the hood to help you put it into place. Along the top of the overdill drain channel, you have two hooks. And then just inside the hood, you have a webbing strap at the front and a bit in the middle. You need to place that webbing strap underneath the hook at the front and in the middle. You have the end of the webbing strap If you pull that tight, it helps secure the hood along the top of the overdoor drain channel. So you just want to do a simple knot to hold that taut. And you want to fold the sides back down. You want to tuck the side of the hood into the side of the door drain channel. And with this webbing strap, it needs to go between the bar and the side of the door drain channel. And on, in the inside of the hood, You want to go round the bar, into the buckle, like so, but don't do that up too tight just yet. Making sure all the hood is tucked in along the top of the uh, channel and down the side so the water can drain off down the side without going into the vehicle. And you will perform the same, you want to perform that again on the other side. Go the same again, just hooking it under the uh, little hooks. Put it back on the webbing strap, making sure it's nice and tight. Making sure the hood is sat nicely into the channel. Again, finish it off. With a simple knot. And then, take the hood back down. Tucking that back through the hoop, front hoop and the side of the channel. Going back round the hoop. onto the webbing, webbing strap. Again, remembering not to do it up too tight. You'll need to adjust them tighter again in a while. You'll also have front webbing straps. You need to make sure they're behind the front, the front, hoop, the front hoop and going forwards so they perform, so they pull the front windscreen channel down. And at the top, 
at the top of the uh, windscreen rail you have two brackets to allow your webbing strap to go through and pull tight to put tension onto the front half of the roof. And then just put a simple little knot in it to tie the strap up and out of the way. And repeat again the same this side. Okay, now you've got the, uh, the two over straps on, you want to work down the side of the vehicle. Down the side of the vehicle, you have the series of cleats, then you have the rope that goes down the side of the hood to fit onto the cleats. Starting at the front of the hood, you want to pull the rope just out and hook it onto the front cleat. and just take up any of the slack that's in the hood and pull, put that onto the second cleat and working your way along the cleats. Once you get to the back, you've got the last cleat and you should be able to pull any of the last slack out of the hood. and tie down onto the rear cleat. There's no particular knot as long as you can undo it. So I'll just do a simple slip knot. Then just remembering to tuck back in at the front. Finish it off. You want to do the same the other side. Again, hook that onto there. Take out any of the slack as you go along. Hook it onto the first cleat or second cleat. Take it again. Remember to take the slack with you as you go along. You'll be able to give it a nice gentle pull to take out the remainder of the slack. That's now got your hood secured at the front and at the sides. Securing the back down, you need to make sure your tailgate is up. And secured. You need to put the rope through the eyelet and pull through. But don't pull too tight. You need to want to take up some of the slack in the hood just so you get a nice pucker in and again take out the slack 
with this rope you want to go behind the back of the rear hoop and through the side eyelet so you should have something looking like that at the end of the rope go back round behind the hoop taking the slack of the rope with you and you want to tie off this end don't worry if the 